Hi, everybody, along with Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski. Welcome to St. Louis, Missouri. These two teams meeting for the first time here in this series. Ray, a quick thought on this one? Everything becomes magnified in a playoff series. Game one means so much because you want to get the jump on your opponent, but all you can worry about is your shift, your next time on the ice. It is such a fun time of the year to play. And we are about set to drop the puck tonight. You can feel the intensity of this one. Total playoff atmosphere. We're underway. And makes the save. Picked up along the wall by Kane. He scores! Well, this is the sign of things to come. Well, I hope so. I love goals, James. This one is quick, and it's already on the board. 80s hockey, here we go. It's a long series, but it's always nice to get the first goal of the series. They're in the back of the net first. San Jose's got the game's opening goal, and it didn't take long. They attacked early. It's like the home team wasn't settled into the game yet. Shens won it. Puck picked up by Crew. And they'll dump it in. The Sharks scoop it up along the boards. Can't connect. Nice save from point blank range. I like how he was able to follow the puck. Good save in close. Scrum along the boards. Puck knocked loose in the neutral zone. Over the line they come. Here's a short pass to LeBanc. Oh, that's tremendous poise in the defensive end to break off the pass. The Sharks gain control of the puck against the wall. Hurdles got it in the offensive zone. St. Louis gains a hold of possession. Slides it quickly to Tarasenko. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. Puck goes out of play, and we'll have a face-off. We're still in the early stages of this period. San Jose's up, one zip. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. And now he tries to get it across to O'Reilly. San Jose's moving it into the offensive end. Shot, and that's blocked. The Blues will play it in their own end. And he regains control of the puck. Moves right to the middle, in close, scores! We're all leaving up! It's amazing, isn't it? We played this time, and now it doesn't match like we're right back in the beginning again. That's a big goal. A quick flick of the wrist, and that snapshot beats the goaltender. He's in the low slot. He doesn't have much time to think about it. St. Louis has it against the half wall. Denies up with the blocker. What a stop by Dubnik. Sorensen's tripped up, and the official's hand is in the air, signaling penalty. Gets to the bench for the extra attacker. With possession along the wall. And couldn't find the intended receiver on that one. Whoa. And he scores! When you're on the ice for a delayed penalty offensively, you have no worry about taking a chance. Nothing bad can happen. He didn't have much room up over the glove, but as soon as the goalie dropped into the butterfly, there was enough for him to put it into the top bin. San 
Jose's gone in front here in the opening frame. Seemed like this game was going to be deadlocked for a long period of time. That's a little bit of a quick strike. So we'll see what they do with it. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. San Jose's on the attack. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Biddington's going to hang on to that one for a whistle. Quickly on top of that, James. He needed a cover there. Lots of time left in this period. San Jose's got a one-goal lead. The Sharks win it. Quick feed to Nieto. The Blues get a hold of the puck. St. Louis plays it along the wall. Here they are on the attack. San Jose's playing it from the side. With the blast, that goes off a twig. He was locked in there. Burns hasn't played as well lately, and as a result, he's on a pointless streak. He's got to dig in a bit here. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame, San Jose's up 2-1, and the crowd has been enjoying this one. The Sharks will go to work here in the offensive zone. From one point man to another. The lane was plugged up, and that shot's blocked. St. Louis moves ahead with the puck. Bertuzzo's going to play it against the half wall. Couldn't make that one happen. The Sharks get a hold of the puck along the boards. San Jose's in now. Centered out in front. He scores! A couple goals in right around a minute and 50 seconds. Conversely, deflating for the other team. Man, that is a kick in the shins right there. They just couldn't stop the bleeding. The good thing he one-times this puck. The goalie almost gets there, but the pass is on his tape in the low slot, and he beats him clean. The centermen glide into position. And they take possession. Nice job tangling him up on the draw. Musa quickly over to Shen. Here's a shot. Turns it away. Pass right on the doorstep. He scores. Right. Shen comes through. If you can work yourself in that close to the net and then get loose, Man, you're just hoping somebody can find you. He one times that for a goal. The Blues got to be feeling better about themselves after getting that one, Ray. Yeah, they cut the lead to one here and now have a little bit of momentum before the intermission. This neutral zone faceoff set to go, and we are back underway. St. Louis has possession of it now. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. Looks like there's a delayed penalty being called here by the officials. And there's the whistle. Let's get the call from the official here. Not quite a bear hug, but holding is the call, Ray. As soon as you reach out, you're, you're alerting the official to take a closer look. And one hand off your stick in traffic, it's a bad place to be. Got burned. And the power play unit takes to the ice their first chance to try to make something happen in this game. A well-deserved power play coming up here looking for the tying goal. They've been really pushing hard, and they drew this penalty through that hard work. In front, and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. I had a playoff run like this. When you score in the playoffs, you feel like you can score every night. More than half the period left to play. St. Louis still needs one more goal in order to even things up. Donato's won a big draw on their own end. San Jose's moving it along the wing. Strong defensive effort. Looking to break out here on the power play. The Blues will play it from the defensive zone. Headman pass. Dishes it to Sanford. Takes a hit. He goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. Quick snap. Stopped by the goaltender. Sometimes you're in close, there's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. St. Louis has it behind the net. And now he angles it across to Bozak. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. To his teammate, comes up with the stop. Shot, and that one's blocked. 
scooped up along the wall by Thomas. Oh, he got paddled by Dubnik. Save made by the goalie. Quick reflexes. You make one, you make two stops before the puck is cleared away. The Sharks preserve the lead as their penalty killers get the job done. Well, there are times you look for your power play at the very least to gain a little momentum. They needed a goal. Now they still trail by one back to even strength. Big play inside the defensive zone. San Jose's across the blue line. Here's an offensive chance. Centering pass. Takes a shot. And that's blocked. Picked up along the boards by Carlson. Nice pass. Good defensive effort to poke it away. San Jose's gained possession along the boards. Grabbed along the boards by Pareko. He carries the puck up along the wing. Passes it to Thomas. St. Louis plays it along the boards. From the left side, it moves to the middle of the ice. Jostles for the puck, but still hangs on. Vlasic's got it in the defensive end. Ahead of steam now towards the front. Big time save on a big time shot. Moves it to Bozak. St. Louis plays it up ahead. Nice dish from the left wing. San Jose is looking to break out of their own end. And the officials are calling a delayed penalty here. It looks like a trip. Quick pass to Kane. Moves the puck. What a save! He'll probably feel that one tomorrow. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. The Blues are getting two minutes for tripping. Played with fire, he got burned, Ray. Oh, he's digging around for the puck, and sometimes you just get caught. This time the player goes down, and he's got to go to the box. The Sharks will have a chance to get on the power play for the first time this evening. This is where your big boys get to really earn their money. Out on the power play for the very first time tonight. Puck moved back to the neutral zone. The Sharks take it along the wall. Effective use of the paddle on that one. And they get the puck out of harm's way. San Jose's got it behind the net. Here's a short pass to Couture. Slides it across. Here he is, wrists it on net. And the lane's clogged up, blocking that. They clear the zone. The Sharks gain possession along the wall. Here they come inside the neutral zone. That pass doesn't go. Takes the feed with the stop. St. Louis holds the shot advantage here in the first period, yet they still trail in this game. And sneaks in and grabs possession. Nice play shorthanded as they get control of the puck. And they'll get it out of the defensive end. San Jose's got a hold of it against the wall. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Here's a chance to try to get it out of the defensive zone. The Blues kill off the penalty. That power play was a lot of window dressing. They had the puck in the offensive zone, but really didn't generate a whole lot. The penalty killers must be pretty happy with that. And that one's broken up. Great block there. They've got the defense outnumbered. Wrist shot from the slot. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Through center along the wing. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. Quick feed to Nieto. That pass goes a little sideways. From the right side, they gain the zone. Takes a shot, and a great save! San Jose's got the puck along the wall. Takes the feed. It's a two-on-one. The Blues look to start the transition game. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. St. Louis moves it quickly along the wing. The Blues take it across the line. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. Moves it quickly over to LeBanc. Great hands to handle the saucer feed. St. Louis has the puck. Pass to Shen. Moves it to Hurdle. Great defensive effort with the stick. Right up front! 
And they can't convert to the play. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. And now it's over to LeBanc. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Sends it in on the attack. San Jose's got the puck behind the net. St. Louis has it near the wall. Quick pass to Perron. The Blues played along the boards. And that one's broken up. Strong defensive effort. Puck scooped up by Perron. Oh, we got a tripping penalty coming up here. The officials were all over that. So often in a in a shifty little play that you're trying to get to the puck, you get your stick in the wrong spot, he steps on your stick, and there's nothing you can do. The Blues once again send out their power play unit. Well, this power play shows up at a rather opportune time. They're trailing by one, and now a chance to level the score off. Aggression will be the key for them. And they manage to clear it. St. Louis takes possession along the wall. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. The Blues carried along the wall. And that one's blocked! An attempt to clear the puck from deep inside his own end. The Blues have it against the wall. Tries to feed it over to Shen. St. Louis moves it ahead. Play whistle dead because of an offside. St. Louis just hasn't had the breaks go their way. They've had the scoring opportunities, but they still trail late in the first. And nearing the final 60 seconds of this opening stanza. St. Louis gets the puck near the boards. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Look out, a two-on-one. Sends it over. Didn't they score! They were talking this morning about they had noticed some vulnerabilities on that other power play. They thought they could attack it, and they cash in on a shorthanded goal. Uh, sometimes you just gotta put your hands up and say, I can't do any more than that. He did all he could to try and stop that puck. Here in the late going of the frame, San Jose's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Couture's won the draw here in the open ice. Dumps it into the O-zone. The Blues will play the puck from behind the net. And now he moves it to Bozak. St. Louis on the attack. Slides it over to Couture. St. Louis comes up empty-handed on the man advantage, but they also gave up a shorthanded marker. Well, that doesn't go according to plan. The power play's done, and they've given up a shorty. Those are always deflating. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. Let's it rip! Scores! Hard to get a much quicker than that. A pair of goals in 40 seconds. That sure changes things here on the ice. Yeah, the game has completely been turned upside down. Wow, that's quick. Off the draw, snapped right back cleanly. The one-timer beats the goalie, who really doesn't have time to move at all. He's squared up to the faceoff. This puck is right on the tape and in the net before he can move. Well, there's the end of the first period of play. A blowout on the ice, but I'll tell you what, from this broadcast booth vantage point, I'm still having fun. I know Ferraro's still having a good time down at ice level as well. Fans, don't forget our 50-50 draws coming up in the middle of the third period. Get your tickets now. That pot continues to grow. And as both teams head to their respective rooms, two more periods still to come. We're looking forward to it here on EA Sports.
both teams with a chance to recharge and refresh in this second period about set to get underway. A one-sided affair after the first 20 minutes. Here we go for period number two. Well, this one underway. Ray, give us an update on what your assessment is to this point. The Blues are going to wear themselves out if they don't get control of the puck pretty soon. They've had no possession time virtually at all, and they're trailing in this game. Shen's been nabbed for tripping. Like every player in the history of the game, he doesn't like the call, but he's going to have to go <laughs> serve his minor penalties. San Jose's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. Sometimes you have to have the shortest of memories when you play on a specialty unit like the power play. It hasn't gone very well for them so far tonight. They have to attack this power play with a renewed vigor. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. Lots of goals on display tonight. It's 5-2. Good job tangling up his opponent here. From center, they get into the attacking area. And now it's grabbed by Steen. And that one's turned away. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Pareko. Nice poke check. Can't catch up to the pass. Stick save and a butte by Dubnik. They're working really hard these days to make sure when they stop the puck, it doesn't stay in front of them. If they can't stop it and catch it, they want that puck in the corner. Uh, he'll check his stick after this. He makes the save on a really good scoring chance. The setters will glide into the dot. St. Louis wins the draw here in the offensive zone. San Jose's got the puck in their own end. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Moves into the slot. Paddled away by Bennington. Uh, by being in the right position, James, he gets so tight to the shooter, there's nowhere for the puck to go. The Sharks win the draw. And the puck leaves the offensive zone. They'll be forced to tag up. Looking to make something happen along the boards. San Jose's got a hold of it along the wall. LeBanks lugging the puck. Here's a short pass to Marlowe. I don't believe the coaches are going to be too worried about this. They didn't score on the power play, but I think it's most important that they didn't give anything up. They've got such a nice lead. The coaches are more focused on making sure this game plays out comfortably. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. The Sharks have been the better squad so far tonight. They lead it 5-2. Nice job tying up his opponent. San Jose's got it across the line. The Blues gain control of the puck against the wall. And now he tries to get it across to Sanford. Quick shot and makes the save. And knocks it down out of midair. That knocks him off the puck. Taken along the wall by Perron. Tremendous stick save by Dubnik. Puck grabbed by Tarasenko. From the right wing, he moves into the middle. Moves the puck along the half wall. Battle along the boards. The Sharks gain possession along the wall. And now he angles it across to Nieto. Here's the pass. Can't connect. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Dupnik's able to use all the gear here. This is a stick save on the scoring chance. St. Louis has had multiple scoring opportunities, but they're still trailing early in this second period. San Jose's won the faceoff. Sends the pass over. Excellent stick work on the play. Taken by Shen. Wax it into the offensive zone. The Sharks have it behind the cage. St. Louis has possession of it now. No corner given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. San Jose's looking to break out. Kane's focus is always to provide offense. He's had a really good night offensively so far. Schwartz takes it across the line. The Sharks get a hold of the puck in their own end. Streaking into the attacking zone from the right. Puck picked up by Hurdle. 
Puts it to the front of the net. And they come up empty-handed. His reflex is on display tonight. Bennington's one of the group today for sure. It's not been very good from him all the way out. Here's a chance right in front. And that's blocked. San Jose's gained possession along the boards. Quick feed to Hurdle. St. Louis takes possession at center. They've got numbers. Sends it across. Big save. Sharp reaction save. And some good footwork to kick it away. Picked up along the wall by Scandella. Shimmick stick handling in his own zone. Lowers the boom with that hit. The Blues scoop it up along the boards. Puck scooped up by Falk. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. San Jose's got the puck in the defensive end. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. And he denied that opportunity. Trying to get back on the attack now. Scooped up along the wall by Thomas. Snaps it on net. Denied by Dubnik. Dangerous spot in the slot, and the goalie comes up big with the glove stop. Dubnik's been dealing with these scoring chances like he is locked in tonight. Here it's a stick save. St. Louis has had a lot of good looks offensively, but they continue to trail in the second. And a solid job tying up his opponent. Here's a chance to set up now. Too much congestion in front. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. Picked up along the boards by Middleton. San Jose's working the transition through the middle of the ice. And he makes the save. Great reflexes, another save. Really sharp, never loses sight of the puck to make the second save. Oh, what a blocker stop by Bennington. Smothered that in close chance. Picks it up, and they turn on the pressure. And that carries off a stick. Up along the wing. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Receives the pass. The Sharks move it ahead. Takes the pass. Sent into the opposite side. St. Louis gains a hold of the puck against the boards. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. Handles the puck. And now it's over to O'Reilly. And that's picked off. San Jose's got it along the wall. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. St. Louis looks to break out in their own end. Works it across to Pareko. And they'll be forced to regroup after the puck bounces out of the offensive zone. Oh, what a big time stop by Dubnik. The most fun save for the goaltender, the glove stop. Up, he flares up the arm with the blocker. Makes a pretty good save here. Past the midway mark of the frame, San Jose's got a 5-2 lead. St. Louis wins the draw. Oh, he went top corner and missed it. Oh, it's not going to be perfect every time. He's going for that top part of the net. He just missed it. San Jose's got the puck along the boards. Nieto's got it along the wing. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Moves it quickly over to Steen. The Sharks get a hold of the puck along the boards. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Moves it to Nosen. Rocks him. Tries to get it over to Bozak. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. San Jose's got the puck along the wall. Quick pass to Carlson. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Takes the bump and loses control of the puck. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Couldn't find the intended target. San Jose's got a hold of it against the wall. The Blues have a hold of it in the defensive zone. And now it's grabbed by Shen. Grabbed along the board by Bortuzzo. Grabs control of it at the point. Puts it towards the net, and he comes up with it. The Blues have it against the wall. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. St. Louis gains a hold of it. Taken along the wall by Nosen. Shot. Oh, what a stop by Bennington. Right out front on the backhand. Stone 
pulls him in front. Scores! Three is the magic number. Man, that goalie is getting just torched down there. Three in a row here. Oh, the defensive team is dog-tired. Their tongues are hanging out of their mouth here. They just got outworked onto the puck, and eventually they give up the goal. San Jose's opposition can't be feeling too good tonight about now, Ray. No, they're looking at the clock and hoping they go to straight time, and this thing can end in a hurry. The Sharks move the puck in the defensive zone. Quick pass to Couture. Here's a short pass to Burns. Coughs it up in the neutral zone. Sent in deep, and the forwards will go to the bench. San Jose's got a hold of it along the wall. We've got a penalty coming up on the play. Shen's going to the box for tripping. Funny, coaches always tell you, get your stick on the puck. And then when you try and the guy trips up, they tell you, get your stick out of there. Kind of stuck. The Sharks send their man advantage unit out once more. The best power plays are the ones that are successful after they've failed. They haven't been very good tonight, but you have to wash that away. Not let it affect the current power play. The Sharks pick up the puck here in the neutral zone. up along the wall by Meyer and a bad pass and they'll be forced to start all over again outside the offensive end the Sharks will get some fresh legs out there as they continue this power play this power play hasn't had a chance to really get much set up they can't get into the zone with any consistency now they're back and they got to start again officials getting ready to drop the puck puck possession so key in today's game San Jose's got a hold of the puck off the draw. St. Louis gains possession shorthanded. Myers got the puck. Puts it on net. Oh, what an effort giving up the body there. And now he moves it to Steen. The Sharks take possession in the defensive end. Keynes picking up Steen. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. Beatington's going to cover it up and get a whistle. Even with the traffic starting to close in, he had to grab that when he did. And with the two tied up off the faceoff, a great read to grab possession of the puck. And a good read to get possession there with the two centermen tangled up. Manages to hang on to the low slot. Here he is with the backhander. St. Louis will play it from behind the net. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. San Jose's looking to break out of their own end. Puck grab by Donato. Gaining momentum along the boards. Pokes it away in his own end. San Jose's gained possession along the boards. Jabs the puck away. Scooped up along the wall by Pareko. Good battle along the boards for the puck. Taken by Crew. Puck picked up by Pareko. He takes a moment to backtrack but maintains possession. Sanford's taking it from his own end. To the front! That's blocked. Picked up along the boards by Nieto. St. Louis has it near the wall. Puck exits the zone. Play rolls on. San Jose's got possession here in the neutral zone. Quick feed to Shimmick. He got all of that hit. Pokes the puck away. Slides it across to Pareko. And the middle frame almost done. And he's ridden off the puck. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. The Sharks looking against the half wall. Here's a shot, and that one's stopped. Sends a pass over. 
San Jose's got the puck against the boards. The Sharks gain possession along the wall. And they fail to go tape to tape. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Bennington's able to handle that scoring chance like it's nothing. He makes a sick save on it. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. Hurdles won the draw. Puck scooped up by Middleton. Oh, a clutch save! Bennington sharp to make that stop. There's the horn ending period number two. I'm not sure they wanted it to end. Hey fans, we have a car on the east lot with its lights on. FSB 4494. If you're wearing your lights, it's a blue sedan. What's in store for the third period? Let's tune in to find out just moments away. Players are set, officials are set, third period action is coming up. Here we go, third period set to get underway, simply too much to not enough at this point. Ray, with two periods in the books, what are your thoughts on the game to this point? The Sharks are going to be able to stretch their bench out, use four lines, and take advantage of a real comfortable lead. Regains control here in the neutral zone. Scrum along the boards, strong defensive effort. Here's a chance, a two-on-one. The Sharks scoop it up along the boards. Moves it quickly over to LeBanc. Oh, the officials were all over that trip. He scores! They quickly take advantage of a team that fell back on their heels. It's like they lost their energy for a moment, knowing they were going to be penalized. And it proved costly. Geez, I like this, James, when the pucks in their hands they attack and they attack in layers the odd man rush is worked to perfection and they're going to change goalies i'm not so sure the guy coming into the game is going to feel so excited their team has just been destroyed tonight San Jose's on fire tonight, and they show no signs of slowing down in the third. This has been almost a perfect hockey game for them. When they look at the video, they're going to be really happy. The Sharks win it, and now it's grabbed by Shimmick. It's a three-on-one. Moves it to Perron. Pokes the puck away. Getting a little too physical to maintain possession. Back to the blue line. Takes a slap shot from the point. Blocked in traffic. Quick pass to Perron. Slides the puck over. Slides it to O'Reilly. Big play inside the defensive zone. San Jose's got the puck in their own end. The Sharks have it now. And he slides it quickly to Couture. Great defensive play to break it up. Stopped by the goaltender. He's sharp on that one. Nowhere to go for the puck. The centermen glide into position. The Sharks take possession off the faceoff. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. Quick shot! Great stick save by Dubnik! Donato's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. The Sharks in transition at center. San Jose's got a hold of the puck. Sorensen's gaining momentum. Takes a shot, makes the save. Here's a short pass to Steen. 
Now he takes it over the line. Puck knocked loose after that hit. San Jose's got a hold of it against the wall. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Barbashev's carrying it ahead. Denies him with the pad. San Jose's got the puck along the boards. And a nasty whack after the whistle here. Yeah, he went after him pretty good there. That's a hard slash. Vlasic's looking around for somebody to fight. He's going to have to go and fill the dance card somewhere else. St. Louis is set to go back to work on the power play. I hated giving up shorthanded goals. You're on the ice. Lots of times you're 100 feet from the puck when it goes into your own net. But they have to be much better than they were on that attempt. Stays with it. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. And clearing attempt is a big success on that play. Quick feed to Shen. From the right side, takes the pass. To his teammate. Gives them nothing in front. Good clearing attempt to breathe. The Blues gain control of the puck against the wall. Into the attacking area from the left side. Slides it across. Stopped by the goaltender. Dubnik's going to slow things down and opts for the whistle. He's had a really good night. He's been on top of his game, and there's not been much that's given him trouble. Yeah, I wanted another look at this one. I'm sure you guys were all impressed as I was. What a save by the goalie. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. The Blues win it. In front on the tip. Puck grabbed by O'Reilly. Here's a chance to get it out of their own end. And it's a small victory for the PK unit here. Well, that's their job. Get it down the ice. Get off the ice. Get some new people out there. Moves it quickly over to O'Reilly. Here's a chance. Stopped by the goaltender. Nice move by the goalie to get out close to the shooter. Grabbed along the boards by Burns. Glove save. Somehow got a piece of it. But he came out and challenged him. Good save. Now over to Shen. Moves it up through the middle from the right. Bumped off the puck. Here's a shot with the stop. The shark slided through center. Nice pass. St. Louis gains a hold of the puck against the boards. Stop that one. There's an unspoken communication here between the goalie and the D to make sure that the goalie gets one shot not to go across the net and then have to go back again. And they take possession. Nice job tangling him up on the draw. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Moves the puck. Here they come on the attack. Sent into the offensive zone. Moves the puck over to Hurdle. Takes the feed. The Sharks played along the wing. A little bump and grind, but still hangs on to the puck. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Vlasic. Here's a shot. That's just wide of the net. He's looking to make a really good shot. He knows he's got to make one against a very good goaltender. He just misses the net. Here's a chance right in the slot. Oh, he got all of that with the blocker by Dubnik. Yeah, he got out tight to him, James. There's nowhere for that puck to go. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. Feeds it across the ice to Sanford. Here they come on the attack. Right to the middle. Wrestling it close. Answered the call on that play. Pretty good shot. The goalie's able to get the blocker up on it and put it outside. The setters will glide into the dot. Off the draw, and he ties up his opponent. Shimmick's moving the puck through his own zone. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. And the puck stopper tags his man to get the extra attacker on the ice. Play is stopped, and here's the official call. He's going off for tripping, and doesn't everybody feel like they're innocent on a trip? 
you feel like you're innocent on most every penalty, but this one always feels like, nah, did you really have to call it? The Sharks once again send out their power play unit. Haven't had a lot of power plays tonight, but when they jumped over the boards to come out for the draw, they were huddled together having a little meet. Oh, look at that. Here we go. We got a penalty coming up right here. Centered out in front. The goaltender is quickly off to his bench to get the extra attacker out. Well, the officials have tried to keep things in line, and yet another penalty call here. Krug's stick work has resulted in a two-minute penalty for hooking. I hated taking these penalties. It meant that I was out of position a little bit, and you have to do something in desperation. The Sharks roll out their man advantage unit, and they've got lots of time with this five-on-three. That's quite some time on the five-on-three. What a big advantage for them. They have to take advantage of this opportunity. You can't let a two-man advantage slip away. The Sharks have it behind the net, and the puck's knocked loose. Takes the feed. Myers got it on the offensive end. Right in front, nothing doing. Decides to go to the backhand. Played big in the moment there. Moves it to Kane, and that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Move to the middle, denies him again. Let's get another look at that hit. Sometimes you think you've got room, but the ice closes off. That's a big hit there, and he's got to get up slowly. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Off the draw and a nice job locking up his opponent. Gets the puck over to Pareko. Good hit on the play. San Jose is moving it up the ice. Sends it over. Oh, he's going to be disappointed, James. He's going to get back to the bench and wonder, what did I do there? I had a great scoring chance and missed the net. Right in the slot. Stopped by the goaltender. The Sharks take it along the wall. They don't score on the power play, but they accomplish a little bit here. They melt some time off the clock. They don't need the goal, but they don't want to make any big mistakes. Ooh, they lost their coverage there. They give up the odd man break, but the goaltender again sharp on the stop. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. The Sharks get a hold of the puck in their own end. Pass across to Sanford. Turns the puck over. Great read defensively there. Feeds it up ahead. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Quick pass to O'Reilly. Couldn't connect on that pass. San Jose's got the puck along the wall. Feeds it over to Burns. Dishes it to LeBanc. St. Louis has it in the open ice. Here's a chance. Quick feed to Sanford. Oh, he gets a blocker on it. What a reaction. Oh, he reads the play really well to get out and aggressive to make that save. Shen's won the draw here in the offensive zone. Oh, what a stop with the blocker by Dubnik. Delayed penalty coming up here by the official. Again, the denial by the goaltender. Whistle blows, stopping the play. Middleton's been called for holding. As soon as you fall behind, which I guess is probably the reason for most penalties, you're in desperation mode. He grabs onto him and he'll go to the box for a couple. Another scoring opportunity looms here. The power play can be so frustrating. When you get an opportunity and it doesn't go well, you start to press pretty quickly into it. Now's the time to relax, readjust, and attack again. Big stop by the keeper. Somehow the shooter got loose in the slot, but the goaltender's equal to the task. That's a good save. Dupnik's able to make the save. As we see here, this is a good scoring chance, but he's in good position. The Blues still trail in this third period despite numerous scoring opportunities. Couture's won it in their own end. Trying to get it out, and the puck hops onto the bench. We'll get a face-off.
Play set to resume with the faceoff ready to go. Steps in and takes the puck. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. Dumps it in. The Blues have it against the wall. St. Louis has it in the defensive end. The Sharks ready to go on the attack. Good heads-up play in the defensive zone. Sanford's got it along the boards. The Sharks will kill off a few extra seconds now. And a successful clearing attempt. Looking to break out here on the power play. Thomas plays the puck. Here's a shot. Comes up with the stop. Here's a short pass to Sanford. Big save by the goaltender once again. Oh, he's on it there. Both saves are really good ones. For the last two hours, it's been the same movie again. Great scoring chance, great stop. St. Louis is running out of time late in this third period as they continue to trail. Takes possession off the draw. Taken by Shen. San Jose's got the puck shorthanded. Working to shake the pressure from the defensive zone. Chance to breathe for the penalty killers as they clear the puck. Oh, solid play. It doesn't have to be the most attractive play, but that puck has to go out. Centering pass. Moves it quickly over to Schwartz. Centering pass. A shot. Shuts him down. San Jose's got it in their own zone. Slides it across to Couture. Moves it to Ferraro. Moved into the middle. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Quick pass to Couture. Puck picked up by Schimmick. Passes over to Meyer. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. St. Louis has possession of it now. Blaze got the puck along the wing. Grabs it in his own end. Referee's hand shoots high in the air. Looks like we got a tripping penalty coming up. And the goaltender gets to the bench for the extra attacker. There's the whistle. And let's hear what the official's explanation on this one is. Tripping is the call. Did he sell or is that the right one in your no, mind? I think it's the right one. He looks like he's picking up speed and the stick gets into his feet. Another chance here on the man advantage. You can't just shoot the puck and think you're going to beat the goalie cleanly all the time. I think this power play will be more effective, James, if they can get traffic in front. Krug's going to play it against the half wall. Jostling for the puck, and he loses control. Nice defensive robbery on that. Long pass up ahead to center. From the slot, denies him in front. And just out of arm's reach on the play. St. Louis gets a hold of it. Smart defensive play there. The Blues are on the attack. And he slides it quickly to play. And that's just out of reach. Now a quick pass to Bozak. San Jose's got the puck inside the defensive zone. And just hitting the final minute now in regulation of this blowout. One minute left. The Blues will play it in their own end. And it's a quick pass to Steen. Great positioning by the defender. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Denied that one. St. Louis will try to kill a few seconds off this penalty. The Blues take it along the wall. They're able to wind the clock down a little bit here. They don't score on that power play. I don't know that it's particularly important. They don't want to give up anything because they've got such a large lead. They want to run this in on cruise control. Puck scooped up by Tarasenko. Schwartz picking up steam. Linesman blows the whistle, signaling an offside, and this one's not done yet. I loved making that save in road hockey, the old blocker stop. The Blues are running out of time as they trail late in this third period. The Sharks win the faceoff. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. San Jose's got it in their own zone. Quick feed to Kane. Couldn't complete the play. Tries to get the puck over to Tarasenko. Final horn sounds bringing the 
this one to a close. one nothing is where we sit after this one in this series. It's amazing, James, you play this long season, and then the playoff series goes pretty quickly. You want that lead. They have it now. Well, that closes the book on this playoff barn burner for Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski. We will see you as the playoffs roll on towards the quest for the cup.